I'm Suzanne Lopez, and I'm a rehearsal director for the Joffrey Ballet and a repetitor for the Gerald Arpino Foundation. Sweet Sansons is an ensemble piece with 20 dancers, but it's really 20 featured dancers. They do dance as an ensemble, but everyone has their special moment. I think it's really beautiful to see the full company dancing together, but it really highlights individuals. We see all different types of dancing, sort of more bravura, tricks, and then some really beautiful partnering. I think it's seeing all of that together in one ballet that makes it so special. This is probably one of my favorite of Gerald Arpino's ballets. It uses a big cast, which I really enjoy, but it highlights so many aspects of his choreography. Learning this ballet when I was in the company is completely different than staging it now. So when I was in the company, this ballet was kind of always in the rep. It never really left. This time around, because it's been almost 20 years since we've done this ballet, I had to teach every single person their spot, which is fine, that's what we normally do now, but it was interesting for this ballet, because that's I don't remember the last time that's ever been done, maybe when it was choreographed, that it was completely new to everybody in the room. And I think performing it, I hope that they have the same feeling that I had performing it, that you feel you're a part of something really special. And you go out and you do your parts, but then the second you're off stage, you turn around and you watch your friends do the same. And that feeling of camaraderie and cheering each other on. And I already feel that in rehearsals, so I think they're absolutely getting that. And I think it will only develop as they get on stage. It's a big deal to me, personally, to come back to this ballet. I try not to get too emotional when I'm in the room because I have to get it on stage and make sure it looks great, but it's very special to be able to pass this on to a generation that completely understands where this came from and respects the history, but hasn't had the opportunity to take part in a ballet like this. I love that the dancers now still love this ballet just as much as we did when we did it even 20 years ago. This ballet has such a strong tie to the job. It was created for the Joffrey Ballet, it was created by Gerald Arpino, who was the co-founder and then artistic director. I think it's exciting to be able to present this work right before the Arpino Centennial Celebration, which is going to happen in 2023. It's exciting to be a part of all of that, and we should be a part of all of that. This is the Joffrey's home and our history. I think that the dancers now absolutely understand that importance and that is really meaningful and I think it's meaningful to the entire organization and to even the city of Chicago and people to see that we know where we came from and it is a place of value and this kind of signifies that beautiful work that was done then and now let's see what our dancers now can do with it and I think it will be just as beautiful.